Hey, welcome back. We're gonna do the next bit with the thing and the stuff. Let's go! How much gold do I have? None! Yay! Let's just start the week. Uh, all of a sudden, this huge gruff countryman barges into your tavern screaming. Yo! Hang on, I need to, like, not destroy your ears. Um. <clears throat> I'm gonna move the mic well, well away from my face. <clears throat> Yelton! Oh, jeez, that's still creeping. That I just won't yell. Okay, I just won't yell. Um. God help us all. Um. Yelton, I know you're here. Give me my daughter back, or else I'll feed you to the. P okay. Um. Men named Yelton stands up from your bar and answers, "You're denying a lady her thirst for adventure, Norl." I'm sorry, but that's something I cannot stand for. Well then. Yeah, I... I, I think my mic is going to clip a bit too much if I get too loud. Sorry. Um, so, side with Norl, or so, side with Yeltorn. Well, denying a lady a thirst for adventure, but I'm not, I'm not on the side of adventurers. I'm on the side of the folks. So I'm going to side with Norl. Uh, your tavern shall not shelter kidnappers. Well. Well. I didn't know it had gone that far. I thought she just wandered off with him. Um, you asked the man to leave and let Neural find his daughter among your customers. I'm cool. Bonus cool. Oh yeah. Bob is cool. That's right. You heard a hit. Can we finish the accounting? Oh, I can skip it. Oh, thank God. Um, okay, so I have money again? I have money again! Huzzah! Um, that means I can... Oh, oh lord, okay. Uh, we're just gonna have to keep going. A man draped in black clothes enters your tavern. Oh, hello, sir. May I put a donation box on your counter? It's for the ninja recognition movement. Yeah, go for it. Why not? Thank you, kind sir. In the coming days, other guards draped in black... Other guys. I was going to say, guards shouldn't be dressed like that. Other guys draped in black come up to your now ninja-friendly tavern. Oh, folks hate me. Whoops. My bad! Uh, can we skip? Yay! Uh, so... But that's okay, because the rogues are pushing out the guards, I think is the theory there. Okay. I'm, I'm cool with that. And I have some amount of money. Not really. Fine. Um, I don't really have any choice but to... I can't upgrade the furniture. The cave does nothing. Um, yeah, none of that's gonna help. Heh. Uh, yeah, there's not much I can do then. <clears throat> A heated debate has come to your town. Two guilds have now have an outpost in it, the Guild of Adventurers and the Guild of Explorers. The debate is which one should be allowed resources since they're both doing the same thing. That being said, the truth is that the Guild of Explorers is a front for less legitimate activities. Eh, I'm a dodgy cabin owner. Let's be honest, guild is a term coined by thieves and rogues. It's almost surprising that there is a legitimate one. Nice! I got customers. Alright, so money. We have money. 69! Kappa! Um, can I? I can't afford whatever. I can't afford the next upgrade for the food. Um, ooh! Whoa. According to your friends, the secret meeting should be tonight. You take your cloak and dagger and start wandering the streets hoping to find a clue. Oh my. After a moment you notice most people are going towards the same district and start following them. 
and they're hidden near the walls. A flight of stairs goes deep underground, but just as you start going down, a guard in some religious outfit you've never seen before stops you. HALT! I hope that wasn't too loud. Um, we know who you are, and you're not welcome here for the moment. Only th those of great value to the town are allowed to pass. Those of great value? Are you missing something? No need to bother the guard further return to your tavern. If the law says you can't enter, you can't enter return to your tavern. We won't bother the guard. I'm cool. Okay, now I can afford a coconut. Hell yeah. Um, I think I need to go for a decoration next. Oh, hello. The guards barge into your tavern looking angry. They show you a poster with the drawing of one of your regulars and a reward for 1,000 gold pieces. I've never heard of him. Like I'm siding with you all of a sudden. The other slams the bud, takes a deep breath and tries to calm down. We missed him again! Curses! Curses! Gosh dang darn it! T fiddle fiddlesticks! The fugitive comes soon after. I am an undercover guard and they are corrupt soldiers. Thanks for helping me have this gold. Well! Well! That worked out, didn't it? I am clever. So what's what's the easy option? You you see how it affects your stats before clicking on it or something. I don't get it. Oh, now I'm getting the gold. Oh yeah. Um, how much is the new? Yeah, that's way too much. Hello, plane. How are you today? You get 20 more. Oh, 20 more. Let's buy. That sounds good. How? What could go wrong? A creepy guy comes in and looks at you. Uh, I. Bleh. No idea. Uh, okay. Shessel Shessel you don't get what this weird speaking stranger wants, but it's probably beer, or is it? Serve him a beer or serve him strawberry milk? I mean, he's closer... He's closer to saying that he wants strawberry milk. I will put that out there. Um... Uh... But you don't... Come into a tavern for Have a beer. I don't care. Have a beer. Lucky is said, no, thank you. Okay? Okay? <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> Alright. Oh, I'm making all the money now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. It's about 42 weeks left in it. Kind of out of a year anyway. <laughs> Good point. Um. Oh no, I can. I can get this one. Oh. Oh, okay, so that increases gold. Right, I'm following now. Um. Okay. All right. All right. I think that was. Oh, hello. Uh, a strange mage with an automated deck of cards comes to your bar. For the price of her beer, she'll look into the future on a topic of your choice. Why not? You give her a drink and look at the cards spread before you. Uh, your tavern, your patrons, yourself. Uh, patrons. Draw the card, the hangman. A wild card, she says. It symbolizes. Oh, wait. Should I do fortune. Uh, how do you do fortune teller voice? It symbolizes uncontrollable changes and unpredictability. Be careful! That wasn't very useful. 
Oh, I went pro. Oh, ew. 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 Don't want to be professional. Damn. Uh, so we're getting close to being full, full folks. Guards hate us, wanderers hate us. Rogues are slowly learning to hate us. Um. Nope. Uh, and it cost me 4,000 to get a new one, so I can't do that. Uh, and I can't do that. And... Cool! Alright. Oh, this again. Oh, this is... This is the exact same thing. Those are great value. Okay, so... I obviously need to find a way to become of great value to the town. How... How? How? Just, just generally how? Um... Oh well, <laughs> figure it out one day. I got things. There's a kitty. There's a kitty. Ah! Ah! Fuck you! Well, you bring some able to a puncher and you hear meowing. Ah! There's a cat sitting next to you on a chair, looking up to you. A female voice starts resonating in your head. <laughs> give me fish, human. Give me. Um. Did this guy just talk to me? Sure. Yeah, have have fish. And he'll eat for today. You feel the approval of your patron towards your kind action. Ah, oh, is that because I put the fish out? Because I approve of that. How rich am I? Okay. All right. So we're close to everyone else hating me. Awesome. Um, I still need to earn a lot more money though. Uh, the festival bleh, is coming, and so is the great bleh, tournament. But this year, your town is split on which champion they should send. Their local champion, Nash Big Muscle. Hello. Uh, that everyone adores and who already stars in most local folk tales of might and bravery. Or, Pallison Smith, one of the youngest and most promising guardsmen. I guess whose advice is required on the matter? Uh, do I favour guards if I go for the smith dude? Because I don't particularly want to favour the guards. Um, screw it. I'm all for the underdog, but because he's a guard, I hate him naturally. Yeah! I got that judgement right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Screw you guards, people. Oh, I'm 100% now. Sweet. Um, oh, I'm still... Oh well. Well, your regular customers, an old peasant comes to you. Hey sir, I have a request for you. My daughter's wedding is approaching and I wonder if it's possible to host a feast here. Could you agree to book the entire tavern for us for that night? Obviously we will pay for the inconvenience. Of course Tuesday, mum has just made you blah blah blah. I won't allow you to bring more yokels in here. I I cater to the yokels. What 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 even is that option? Um but I won't forbid my cousin. Uh, ah, we'll do that. Uh, when you guys have any problems, and the grateful peasants spread the word about your tavern. However, your other customers aren't really having to see the tavern close to them. Well, I still got more customers, so bite me, lads. Nice. Look at that cash. Cash money, um, so I can either upgrade or get the decor. I'm gonna upgrade. Done and done. Oh, hello. Ooh. 
A real gin, your magical creature said to grant witches stems before you. It had to gin talk. Hello, Tapanier! I wish to drink a beer! That's what this business is what this building is about, right? You tell him that yes, and inform him it'll cost ten gold pieces. Gold pieces? I've never heard of them before. Is that the mortal thing? It's money, right? Hmm. I don't have any. Do you accept wishes as payment? This could be an incredible turn of events. I wish for wealth, I wish for power. Uh I'm going for value to the town. Pardon me. Value to the town. So is value to the town wealth or power? Uh, wealth wouldn't really do much when it comes to being in the town, so I'm going to go for power. Oh, I got an achievement. Uh, Jinx Master Small, I should ask for if he ran. Ah, yes. Oh, wait. Ah, yes, a wise choice. Zero gain is fleeting, but bettering yourself is always a good choice. Your wish is granted. Went a bit musical there. I don't know what that did, but maybe I can sneak into the meeting. Oh! Oh! There, that should do it. Congratulations. You can now use the natural energies of mana. This will allow you to do much more than before, but be careful, for your energy is limited. Each week you will gather five mana points from the natural flows. I did not expect this. Use them as you see fit. But you should be able to pay 15 mana to skip an event you see no good outcome from, if nothing else. Okay. Me reshaping reality might have attracted the attention of a few other spellcasters, so make sure they feel at home. After all, everyone needs a beer once in a while, don't they? Just be careful, for powers are never without risks and require balance. Okay. Oh, is the screen green now? What the hell? Why? Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna go. A horde of barbarians comes to your bar. They quickly correct you and insist that you call them a herd of barbarians. Oh then. Let them stay and ask them where the snail and stay and ask no question. Tell them that you won't serve a horde. Um, why not? They explain to you that they're trying a new way of barbarity based on herding animals and trade to get what they need. You would explain to them that this is just standard nomadism, but hey, if you can avoid your whole tavern getting wrecked. That being said, some of your patrons cast in the smell of cattle and leave, save for folks who are used to it anyway. Um, no problem. I have folks, 100%, so screw that. Um, okay. Uh, I probably don't have enough to buy anything at the moment, do I? Maybe. Oh, I can't afford any more of that. Okay. Uh, I can get a slot. Ooh, I can get many slots. So I'll equip that as well. And that, I mean, I don't think that's really going to do anything. Cause doesn't it just raise... I don't know. Uh, it's the annual beer festival. As such, a lot of people are coming into your tavern later this evening to drink beer. And true beer. Okay. But there's... Pardon me. Um, also the matter of the big 9 o'clock show. You don't know what old uh, did it this time of year, but... Many people are pressuring you into letting them run the show. How will you choose? Okay, so I've got to pick whatever show... So swords play, that would be guards. Circus show... Is whatever. Uh, the three act play about a young lad. Fabuloso, illusionist extraordinaire. That 
sounds very folky. Damn it! Wrong one. Bolt. I don't know what one I should have picked there. Okay, so does my mana top off at 15? I don't know. I don't get it. Hi, person who can't speak. Oh no, this person can speak. A uh, flamboyant and showy man wearing a flashing red cape enters your tavern. Hello, Tavernier. I have come to chase Professor Madness. Would you like to offer any kind of assistance to my quest? What? Funny you have more mana. Well, I haven't bloody used any now, have I? There. Thank you, I'll make sure to tell everyone about my origin story. You don't really get what he's talking about, but you have a few more patrons coming in the following weeks. Okay. Huh? What? <laughs> That's weird. I couldn't have possibly saved up for that. Hmm. My head is hurting. Hooray! Um, we got to week 20 and then abandon ship, I think. Um, I have no money. Sweet. Oh! Here we are! Uh, so, blah 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 blah. We've seen this all before. We're gonna go, uh... Go straight to the stone to make it through. Hidden... Oh, this is different. Hidden near the walls, the flight of scares, the stairs goes... Scares. Ah! Um, <laughs> just just flying scares around. They're bats or something, I don't know. Um, still goes deep underground. You conjure a small magical aura around you, and you sense the guard's hesitation. You might be able to use this to pass. Go straight forward or wait and see. Wait and see is supposedly the better option. Oh! While you were wondering, uh, wondering about to par how to pass, one of the regular customers passed by and knows you. You both go to the guard and your friend simply says, Don't worry, he's with me. The guard moves away. You'll finally be able to witness the meeting. I hope they don't dob me in as a shit person. Making small talk with your new friend, you learn he's a farmer. He and his family have been around for de de decades and have been growing hops the crops used to make beer flavorful. You both start talking about kinds of beer until you arrive to a strange room filled with various tables and folks discussing over meals. You are led to the largest table where Nash Big Muscle, the farmer's leader and self-titled strongest man of the land, looks at you with a curious eye. Well, ain't that a- wait, how, how does he- Well, ain't- no, I, I can't do it. Well, ain't that a sight. I wouldn't have expected a tavernier to come down here, but I suppose it's only fair, seeing how much you did for us. This is a difficult place. One that could make or break you. You really think you're ready? If only you were cooler or more professional. I mean, story of my life. Need to choose a path friendly in order for you to progress. Okay. Well, that just means I need to save five thousand dollars to get a thingy. Do, 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 do. Um. I, anyway, I am going to call it there because my headphones are slaughtering my skull at the moment. Um. So I will see you next time. Hopefully, I get back to recording more of this because it's interesting. Very interesting. Bye-bye.